usually I was showing it about 20 times a year and I would win 18 awards. It is special enough, either car is special enough that it wins where it goes pretty much. This year so far, we've been to 12 shows and won 10 awards this year. But the more fun thing is, that I like, makes me smile, is that when I pull into a show, you see lots of Camaros, and Mustangs, and Tri-5 Chevys, one Capri. I'm Jerry Lacoste, and this is my 1973 Ford Capri German Ford that I have highly customized and just started driving this summer. Back in 1972, I was looking for a new car. I had been into Formula One and sports cars, but I had a family. Capri got my attention, but I wasn't into four cylinders. In 72, they came out with the V6. So it was a perfect car, had space for the family, still had performance, sporty looks, and uh, like I said, I got this. I bought it, ordered it in from Germany, took three months but I had the second V6 Capri in Kansas, in the state of Kansas. I had the brand new 72. When it got wrecked, I purchased a Bank Repo 73. Then I purchased a Auction 74 kept all three, eventually scrapped them and built the one that I finished in 05 and started showing on the chassis of the 74. I decided I really liked it. When I retired, I looked around, had a friend that had advertised it. I bought the salvaged one here, and that became, that's a 73, and then I built it up with the help of fabricators and body people. And we built it all up, and it gives me two. This was originally a scrap salvage drag car with strictly a unibody with four wheels under it. Started from there, I had a build list that I had spent three months assigning and a fabricator to help. We put in, got ordered a crate motor and the stack injection. MSD electronics, uh, billet, steering, we got an aluminum radiator, we ordered the custom wheels, uh, getting them measured out and everything so they would fit. Then we put it, we had to custom fit the shockwave air ride because they don't make one for free, so we had to find out by measuring what would fit. And then of course we got had to figure out how to fit all of the electronics behind that little bitty dash. It's got a phantom push button start and you have to push it in sequence in a, at a certain time frame like press, wait two seconds, press, wait two seconds. And it took me a while to get that down. I kept killing it instead of starting it. After I learned that, it took about a month after I learned that. It's been great. Other than a few detail items, I'm going to put on some fancier valve covers, uh, powder coat some of the trim that I painted with just aerosol, I'm going to go back and powder coat it. But beyond that, the major parts, they're done. It'll just be little detail items to uh, make it appear a little bit better at shows.